Okay, welcome to video one of the Grand Old Team TV, brought to you in association with the Falcon Blues TV. In case you just don't know us, my name's Dave, this is Paul. Hello. Um, we've been with Falcon Blues now for about 18 months nearly. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been great, uh, gratefully received by, you know, by the Grand Old Team and they've given, given us this opportunity to join up with them, which we can't wait. Yeah, well, we're not new to the, the channel, we've done videos without them before, we've yeah. done the podcast a few times, if you're familiar with that with Groucho. Um, so, we're just going to be bringing you more regular content, really, to that, yeah. with Adam and George and, and Groucho. Um, we're doing more match day stuff. Yeah. Um, if, if you're familiar with any of the stuff we've done on Falcon Blues TV, we're going to be doing the similar stuff midweek. Yeah. This match is a, we, we've got the midweek stuff. Adam and the team have got the match days, post, post-match, that kind of stuff, post-match pints. But me and Paul are going to be getting more involved as the uh, as the weeks and months go on. Yeah. Really looking forward to it because you know at the moment, well, they might as well just start this video now and we're talking about the current transfer news, Paul. Sure, yeah. Um, Besides, we're signing with Grand Old Team, like. Yeah, well, that was probably the biggest. <laughs> that was the biggest uh, transfer of the of the window so far. Even you know Sky Sports News talked about it. So we've have signed a couple of players, haven't we, Dave? We've, yeah. Uh, uh, Jean Jean Philippe. Gabamon? Yeah. That, that's well, all right. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. It's all right. Yeah, the JPG, as some people are taking to him, or JPEG. and John Philippe G- just sounds good enough, doesn't it? G-Dog you know? and uh, anything. Now, uh, I think it's going to be JP for a lot of fans. It's making it a bit easier. But John Philippe Gabamon, uh, in from mine. Makes me for... feel like eating some gammon. <laughs> <laughs> you just mid flow, Paul. Come on. Um, Signed for around £25 million pounds, <laughs> uh, from mine. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, Dave. I, I don't know a lot about this lad, and I think most people, most people have said the same, except maybe from one channel. There's, there's, but, always yeah. going, there's always going to be the ones where we go, "Oh yeah, I've seen him play loads." No, you haven't. But um, <laughs> by all accounts, he's, he's a, a similar vein player to like um, a Dusha guy. Yeah. Um, but he, I'm told he's more mobile, which surprises me because I always thought Garner mm. um, got about quite a bit. He can also play centre half. Yeah. I, I don't think we I don't think he's going to be the centre half though. If you get what no, I mean. No, no, no. He's definitely definitely a, re- a replacement to, to Gay, and obviously um, Marco Silva said he wouldn't be selling him unless he had a replacement to man. Yeah. And I, the way I look at it, I don't know much about him, but if, if Brands likes him, I like him. Yeah, there's been um, a lot of the, the way the transfers have gone. They've gone from right, someone's out, someone's in, someone's out, someone's in, yeah. and that's the, that's a good model to have. You know, we you, you knew as soon as Gay was gone, right, we've got a replacement there, yeah. which is going to be as a, a matter of when. And that was announced last Friday, Kathy, wasn't it? Yeah. Of last week. And we we're, were trying to catch uh, up here, sorry. And we were gutted to lose uh, as this a guest, I think everyone was, because yeah. especially the last six months after this transfer didn't come on, he didn't spit his dummy off there, he just got on with it and no, played really well. No, super professional, super professional. So good luck to him at PSG. Yeah, he's an example to a lot of players, you know, he who shall not be named because he's currently at Anderlecht. Spat, spat his dummy out. Oh yeah, no, it's about that so on the how you, from how, how you doing that, mate? I don't know. Are you still being paid by United? Big questions. Um, well, yeah, uh, Jean-Philippe Gouvaman, 25 million in from Mines. Well, to the top he's mate. And that brought us nicely into Sunday, which was the other transfer that people were, oh, he's, he's, he's having his medical on t- today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day, and they're not going to do an announcement on Sunday. But guess what? They announced on Sunday that we've signed Moise Keane, not Moise Khan, oh. or anything like that. Moise Keane Moise from Keane. Juventus for a fee of 26, 27 minutes. It's around that, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. around it's that. A, it could rise to an higher, higher I number. I believe as well. it rise to about 36. Yeah. Um, and that is the way to pronounce his name. He said it himself. Yeah. Um, an exciting player. Um, there's been a lot of talk about Bradley Marsh. He said he's too good for Everton, but Bradley Marsh. If, he, if he's too good for Everton, then good. Yeah, then, then score goals for us, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know, make, make a name for yourself. But again, this is not a, this is a lad who we've not seen much of. No, we, I um, think we've seen like highlight like videos and stuff. But, um, I think it's important. It is an exciting sign in this, but I do think it's important to point out that the lad is 19. Yeah. We don't want to be throwing too much pressure on him. I mean, I still think that um, Dominic Carver Lewin, he's still a young pup as well, mm-hmm. and he, he was getting a bit of. Like stick last season, sort of from some sense. He's getting a bit of stick now on social media. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a young lad. We should be supporting. Do you know what I mean? The young lads at, at the same point, you know, last season everyone's going, "Oh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is going to be great. He's going to score goals yeah. once once he gets once he gets a couple of goals under his belt. He's going to be fine." 
you know, everyone was praising his work ethic. There was similar, similar uh, vein to this guy. Yeah, you you know, constantly running the channels, constantly causing a nuisance for himself. It's just he lacked that final, that final ball where he's putting it in the net. Sure. But all of a sudden, because Gabe, uh, sorry, Keane's come in, the table seems to have suddenly turned, and Dominic Carvalho's crap. It's weird. It's like, well, yeah. Just I because we signed can... this lad, no, it. it no, that doesn't that doesn't wash with really I don't think all. anyone's ever questioned his, his work rate or his guile and stuff like that. Um, but like we said, this young this lad 19, so yeah. I wouldn't be expecting the world from him at this point. No. So, I mean he's come with a big reputation obviously. And it's exciting that it, it's I mean we haven't signed a striker since really Lukaku, have we? No. Sandro didn't work out. Um, that that's another one. Everyone's going on about like um, Cavalier was likely to get the number nine shirt as well this season. Obviously, because we're not going to bring in another striker. Keane's got 27, two and seven is nine. Do you that? Um, so you want to count that again? No, yeah. <laughs> but everyone's going. Oh, I can't believe Cavalier's going to get the number nine shirt. Sandro was at it for two years. That's what I mean. Not even plays. I think that Stop number nine. nine. That number nine could be poison, mate. Like you said, it was Sandro before him. It was Kone. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'd be a Kone if we all remember him. So they give it to Umar. Yeah. That really winds you up, won't it? But well, anyway, <laughs> you, you just come on to a, an important thing here. And obviously, we know the transfer window shutting on Thursday. Yeah. We're getting linked to other players. My other big concern, though, is that we've still got a lot of Deadwood, likes of Niasi, Morales, uh, Kuko Martinez still still there, just toasting. Don't McCarthy. know what he's doing. Yeah. Get McCarthy as well. Um, and like we like McCarthy, and I, 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 I've got a feeling Tosin won't go because really the only strikers we've got is Calvert Lewin. Keen and then maybe oh, well, obviously with Charles can play up front, but um, I I don't think all of this dead wood's going to be gone by the end of the transfer. I think it, it's going to be a case of there aren't too much too many wages. No. I'm not being negative there. I am going to end on a little positive. I do still think Everton have got a big transfer in them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well we'll come to that in so. just a minute. But I think the dead wood is going to. I think we'll see more loan deals. Definitely, yeah. In the next Definitely. couple of days, I think Balassi is likely to go to Turkey. I just forgot about Balassi then, yeah. Well, everyone, yeah. everyone else seems to have forgotten about him as well. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> Balassi's potential move to Turkey. Morales is probably being shifted somewhere out the door. And the big one at the moment, there's, there's a couple here. Um, one is the 65 million apparent bid plus players for Wilfred uh, Zaha. Zaha. So 65 million plus McCarthy plus uh, Cenk Tosin. Apparently being rejected by uh, by Palace. Really? The, the Sky Sports have just said that they're expecting Palace to come back in for McCarthy as well. 65 million then. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want them, 65 million, you can have them. Then go straight swap deal. But no, I, th I think this one's going to roll and roll till five o'clock on Thursday. Um, I think it's a party that's hard to stay there. We're either going to come back with an improved offer of cash up front or cash plus additional players, and it might end up being. Two, three players, maybe even Balassi gets thrown into the into the mix on that one as well. I don't know. I think we'd have to pay them more for that. <laughs> we <laughs> them. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I, I like Zaha. I really yeah. do. I think he's, he's a he's a class act. He's a, he, he's he's had that bit of a reputation where he's, he's been perceived as a bit of a diver, a bit of a moaner, a bit of a sulk. There's no doubt in his talent. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I I, I, to be honest with you, I'd moan if I was under Roy Hodgson. The other thing is as well. Um, He's, he's Premiership proven, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's not really a risk in, in, in just saying that way. Um, especially, when you look that. At, yeah, especially when you look at other players that we've been linked with, uh, Heaven Lozano, yeah. Mexican lad, yeah. um, that'd be a big one. Because um, yeah, we've been banned from the, the, the Dutch league as well, haven't we? Yeah. You know what I mean? Classing. We'll have to wait, so yeah. yeah. The, the jury still has to even Classen, I think but, even in Germany. With all, all this talk about a winger and Sahar, I, I mean, I think our priority should be a centre half. Yeah. The only experience in half we've got is Keane and Mina. Um, obviously Colgate's there as well, but he could be he could be the right back, the deputy right back. Again, this comes down to all these last minute things and Do you Ke think Ked Zuma? Do you think we're pinning our hopes on Zuma? I, I am. mean I am, I'm not pinning on I really else. want Zuma but I hope we've got a backup plan. After hearing the scary alternative alternatives of Phil Jones, I have, yeah, and, 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 and then Marcus Rojo. Marcus Rojo. Rojo. <laughs> I, got, I was like, no, I'll sooner wait till five o'clock. <laughs> I'll wait till five o'clock on Thursday. Just, just take someone from the youth team, anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, yeah. Who wants Phil Jones? You know, I, I don't even think Phil Jones wants Phil Jones. No, I don't even <laughs> think his wife wants him. <laughs> the only the only benefit of Phil Jones is those those faces. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so moving swiftly on for Phil Jones and his missus. Yeah. Um, 
Sorry, Mrs. Jones. We've, <laughs> we've also had a, a 40 million euro. Why we're, why we're dealing in euros all of a sudden for players in the Premier League, I don't know, for the uh, Ducore, which has been rejected by Watford. Now, 32 mil, our best friends. What, Watford, Watford fans have got a little bit precious over this. They're trying to create a row. It's weird. Yeah. But they've gone really precious over it because I even remember seeing another art. Someone flashed up an article saying. Uh, Money talks, it's a business. It's also, yeah. you know, I mean, there's, I, I not, there's nothing you or I can do to affect it, as, a, as I've said in a previous video. Just let it, let's just see what happens with this one. I'd, I'd like him, but I understand. But then, does Du Corre come in and he's the address a gay role? And then you've got JP Gabama moving back into centre half. I, I think Gabama's the, the guy one because Du Corre is more like a box to box player. Mm. I like him, but we seem to be getting quite a lot of centre mids. That tells me that Shinardlin will go. Mm -hmm. um, there was rumours about a loan move for Tom Davis to Newcastle. Now, if we did sign to Corey, I'd say yeah. I'd, I'd send him out for Tom yeah. Davis if he went to Newcastle. Move money, Mike Ashley. Yeah. No, One no, of my no, favourite Twitter that, that. that wouldn't be fair for Tom, that. I, th I think if he was going to go, somewhere, maybe somewhere like Leicester. Yeah, was, well, somewhere kind of got regular football. For regular football and also in a team that I, I, I honestly see Newcastle struggling. Yeah, I do. Personally, you know, let us know what you think in the comments. Anyway, you know, if you know, if you thought Tom Davis was going to go out on loan, or you know, where do you see all these players fitting in? Let us know in the comments. It's going to be a busy few days. We're also getting linked with the right back from Monaco, Sadibi. Yeah, who's a World Cup winner. He's Lucas Dinier's uh, teammate. Apparently, that's a loan deal rather than actual. Okay, that's, it, that's it, fine. Well, yeah. Because he's, I think he's had a heavy injury. I think he has a serious knee injury. I, I'd imagine with Kenny going out. So early on loan, I was mm. surprised the right back didn't come in sooner. Yeah. Because really it's just Coleman and then maybe Holgate. Mm. Col but Coleman I'm yeah, I'm more can I'm I don't know about you, I've seen it on online, it's a bit different. I'm more concerned about getting a centre half in before the winger. I yeah. think that should be I think, like, uh, yeah, sense of actually the main priority. Hopefully to touch with it sooner, you know. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll see, what but we'll see on Friday, and what we'll do is we'll come back with a rep uh, response video to all of these on Friday, or uh, Thursday night. Hopefully, we've got some good news. Um, hopefully, it's not going to rain. Well, we, <laughs> we can come back out here. <laughs> we did a video for Falcon Blues, um, sort of a Jordan, start of pre season, where it was, we were wanting to know what Deadwood needed chopping. Yeah. And so far, I think it's Sandro that's gone. <laughs> Yeah. And there was a big list, you know. There what was, I mean? was a big list, wasn't it? There was a big Check list. that out on our, on our Fall from Blues page yeah. as well. You, you know, you'll see all the other videos that we've got. Um, but this, that's it. This is our first video for the Grand Old Team. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, we are going to be coming back on Thursday on the Fall. On, no, not on the Fall from Blues channel. Uh -huh. On the Grand, Grand Old, Old team, team channel, because that's where we are now. That's who we work for. Um, Hostile takeover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be coming back. We'll uh, give a roundup of everything that's gone on. Um, let us know how the video went as well. You know, it, it's our first one, so we just we we just carry on as, as we would normally record. Yeah. Blues. We're not going to change for anyone. If you don't like it, tough. <laughs> you know what I mean. We're here to stay. Um, Danny as well. If you don't like it, tough. We're here to stay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, give us your comments. Make sure you subscribe and get get us on Falcon Blues uh, TV. Get us on Grand Old Team. I'm Sound Dave 1981. Paul is BWM. Media market, market, market. Yeah. market. Yeah. We'll put all the comp, put all the Twitter handles in there for you. Just follow Falcon Blues TV. Yeah. Now, but until then, uh, we'll sign off as normal. So up the toffees, and we'll see you on Thursday. Colin Chong.